You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, GH fans, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want to talk about strange things happening on the ABC Soap and whether they're paving the way for new romances and reunions of past romances. In particular, I want to talk about the pairing of Jason Morgan and Elizabeth Weber. But first, please subscribe if you aren't following us yet, and thank you for your support. Okay, so when they tease Jason's return at the end of the 60th anniversary primetime special, was that back in what, like February, earlier this year? They had Steve Burton shown with Laura Wright, who plays Carly Spencer, and Kelly Monaco, who plays Sam McCall. So that gives the definite vibe that he was going to be, or at least a hint, that he was roman- going to be romantically paired with either the last woman he married before he died or his ex-wife. So at that time on GH, Carly was with Drew Kane. Sam was and still is head over heels for Dante Falconer. And as for his other exes in Port Charles, there's only one who's still alive. That's Elizabeth Weber. At the time of that Three Doors promo, Liz and Dr. Finn were doing great, happily in love. Everything was smooth. Since then, a lot has changed. First, the two head writers, Dan and Chris, who had begun writing Jason's return scripts, presumably after this promo aired, were summarily fired. And the prevailing rumor is that they were fired because the powers that be up in the the big office did not like the direction they were planning for Jason's return. Then they turn around, they hire Patrick Mulcahy, who is a dynamo who most recently worked at Bold and the Beautiful, very well loved by many soap critics. And they paired him with Elizabeth Corte, who has been with General Hospital for decades. This excited a lot of longtime watchers who were pleased at how well she knows the history of the soap. And it was Corte who wound up writing Jason's return arc. Steve Burton confirmed that in an interview. So we we had Jason in what was an initially very exciting return. He stopped an assassination. He got shot. He saved Dante's life. He went on the run. He hit out at Carly's. He fled to the Quartermain Boathouse where a bunch of people were aiding and abetting him as a fugitive. All very exciting. Since then, decidedly dull and heading downhill, I would say fast, but actually slowly, painfully slowly. Both Laura Wright and Steve Burton stated pretty clearly they don't see Carly and Jason heading for romance. And I certainly don't feel it's heading that way. I don't see it tilting that way on GH right now. As for Sam, she is more in love with Dante every day. They are not breaking up. I can't fathom it. And I don't think she's going to wind up being a police widow, not that they're married yet. But since he just survived one shooting, I doubt they're going to go and kill Dante. So with Carly in the friend zone and Sam warming up in a friendlier zone than than she was before, because she was pretty PO'd when he first came back, but still very much committed to another man, neither of these romances seem to be happening. As for anybody else in town, I've seen no inkling of Jason getting flirty with anybody except for a little moment he had with Liz. I totally enjoyed the vibe when he showed up at her place asking to see his son, Jake Weber, and she was very chill with him, unlike Sam, but of course there was different things going on there. And remember, Jason was talking with Liz about fresh starts and forgiveness and, you know, just apologizing for things. And even if the writers didn't mean for there to be a spark, I saw one because Burton and Becky Erbst have always clicked really well. And I just wonder, with ratings faltering and now they fired Mulcahy as co-head writer, rehiring one of the fired ex-head writers to rejoin the team and put Corte in charge... (laughs) Are we about to get drastically different material and plot lines? Maybe. Have the powers that be come down hard on the writers and threaten to keep cleaning house until ratings improve? Maybe. I... On the flip side, I also don't feel like General Hospital cares too much what its fans think, which is counterintuitive because what fans think drives the ratings. But maybe, maybe they finally figure things out over at ABC Daytime. Or maybe not. Because we keep seeing fan favorite characters shoved in the background and ones that producers seem to like better shoved into as many episodes as possible. No names mentioned. So fast forward to now. 
after we're on the third head writing team this year, right? Are we finally getting big changes? I've heard rumors that Michael Easton is off contract. If that chatter is true, and I'm not saying it is, I, I don't know, it's a rumor, that doesn't sound good for Liz and Finn's future, right? Which honestly is fine with me. If you listen here regularly, you will know I'm not a big Liz Finn fan. He is my, Finn is my least favorite of the four characters that Michael Easton has played on General Hospital. It's not my issue with Michael Easton. Love him. Great actor. Very hunky. I just, Finn doesn't do a lot for me. Maybe they can kill Finn and bring him back as lucky number five. Maybe not a doctor this time. Back-to-back -back doctors was kind of weird. Maybe bring him back as that vampire, Caleb, right? <laughs> I would literally rather have a vampire than some of the nonsense we're getting now or that alien that Anna Devane was getting hot and heavy with back in the day. All right, I digress. The bottom line is Finn and Liz seem to be hitting a rough patch. And that, combined with the Easton rumors, has me wondering if Liz is about to get single so she can get with Jason. I know there are diehard liaison fans. That's the people who love Liz and Jason. There's other factions that really think Carly's his one big love. Others say it's J Sam all the way. But with no writing pointing to either of those two pairings, it might be really interesting to reunite him with Liz. And I've got a few reasons why it would be good. Five, five quick reasons. Number one, she and Jason share a kid who's got a lot of daddy issues. So that would play really well for the teen scene summer drama that's about to start. Number two, Jason wants to be on the straight and narrow now. Legal, legit, not in the mob because he's on the FBI's radar. He's on everybody's radar. He's going to go straight. And him being in the mob was a big issue that kept him and Liz apart. It's out of the way. He's working at the coffee warehouse. He can do something else, but he's not going back to the mob as far as we can see. Number three, Jason being with Liz would probably really chill Sonny out, at least to some extent, because Sonny has in the back of his mind that Jason betrayed him by marrying Carly when he was presumed dead. And Jason being away from Carly and in a romance with Liz, Sonny be like, okay, maybe it was in my head. Number four, Liz needs a man that matches her for magnetism. I, I just don't get a very sexy vibe off of Finn and Liz as a couple. That shower makeout scene that was supposed to be very hot. It did nothing for me, but made me worry whether or not they were in shower shoes so they didn't get a foot fungus. <laughs> that was kind of me. It was like, my first thought was, ew, is the first time they're going to make love in a shower? Ew. And then I was like, and are they wearing shower shoes? But I wasn't like, ooh, sexy, finally, yay. Not at all. All right. Number five, all of the reasons that Liz and Jason agreed they couldn't be together over many years in the past when they've tried, those are all out of the way. Not just the mob, but Sam as a presence in his life. She doesn't want him. She doesn't need him. Out of the way. Lucky. Lucky's gone. He's with somebody else. He's far away. You know, they're angst over Jake's death. Jake's back to life. All of the issues are out of the way. The path is clean, except for Finn. Finn's the only one in the way. So we'll see how it goes as the writers are probably scrambling. I'm guessing they probably had to scrap a pile of work. Otherwise, they wouldn't have fired Patrick if they were happy with what they had written. So they may be like having to just go back to the drawing board and are having to redo things fast. What concerns me about all this, I feel like Patrick is a great influence in any writer's room. And Corte has shown that although she knows GH history, she doesn't mind contradicting it with half-baked retcons. And I don't like those. Let me know what you think. If Jason is not going to be with Sam or Carly, do you want him with Liz or somebody else? Drop it in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Definitely come back soon. This is Belinda from Soap Nerd, and I'm here talking General Hospital with you guys seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>